I almost forgot to record today. So, what I've done so far, I've gone to Home Depot, I've gotten a bunch of tools so I have to quit, so I can quit borrowing some tools, right? So I basically have everything that I'd ever need, and I'm cutting the PVC for the rigging tubes right now. There are those tools, brand new, and we're going to have a 90 coming from this corner, so I'll be able to pop up. I'm going to put a three inch PVC in that so it sticks up a little bit more so no water gets in there, but obviously that'll be popped up through the deck. It'll be running all along there, about a 36 and a half inch piece that you just saw cut of three inch di inner diameter. I'm going to take that 45, shoot through that stringer, through that stringer to the 45 degree. That'll be about 45 degrees uh, vertically, so not directly vertical, 90 degrees, but 45 degrees. And then I'll just shoot out kind of back that way just because I didn't have another 90. Uh, I could have gotten one. I was literally just at Home Depot, but I wasn't really thinking. And I'm not too worried about that. So that is the plan for right now. I have to put this together, and then I'll be able to measure where we're going from there. All right, so I know it's dirty, but I just acetoned it, so it's clean. We're going to be running it just like this. So I guess I should get out PVC glue, PVC cement, tomato, potato. Apparently I'm not very strong. Don't y'all judge me. Alright. Oh you son of a bitch. Ah, son of I don't know if you can tell, but I don't I don't particularly work with uh, PVC. You know. In case you in case you didn't know. Alright. It's good to me. It runs, it runs. We're gonna do the same idea in here. That should be good. We're gonna run it like this again because. Alright, so it's a little thicker. Obviously, I don't need it crazy. Like, I don't need a watertight seal, in all honesty. But I want to make sure that it doesn't come apart. That's the main idea. That should be good. Alright, it says hold for 30 seconds. Should be able to hold itself, right? Cool. Uh, we're gonna hit it with another 36 and a half inch cut. All right. That was 36 and a half, right? Yeah, it was. Here we are. So, if my calculations are correct, then we should be approximately at this angle, right? And then we should go right there. But this is the idea. So it's gonna be just like that. This will be under the console. I'm gonna have another piece come up here just so it's a little bit longer again so no water comes in. And that should be good. We're going to cut the holes for where this is gonna be passing through. How about let's do this. There we go. It should be about right. <laughs> Let's pretend that's the case. Alright. Alright, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. Looking back at the tape, I have no idea why I thought it was a good idea to drill big holes into the stringers. I even went out and bought this special bit. Um, I really should have just done two 90 degree angles. You know, basically just take a rectangular shaped chunk out of the stringers so I could set the rigging tube down in that. It would have made things a whole lot easier. That's about how far off we are. I may have to drill a little bit more. I'm going to try to finagle it a little bit, see if I can't get it in there, just to test fit. So I'm going to just bring the glue. Yeah, I'm going to just bring the PVC glue in here, put a towel under there, and I'll stick it on just how it sits, and I should be good. And all these voids, uh, big void right there, but some of these other voids, that's why we got peanut butter. Yeah. Oh, every time, every time. Wait, I actually got to drill some holes real quick. I'm gonna drill a hole in this elbow, I'm gonna drill a hole in this elbow. I'll be right back. You can see this little hole right here, and this one on the 90 are gonna be the two lowest points in the rigging tube, so if any water gets in there, that'll allow it to drain out.
you know. I know it ain't perfect, but it'll do the job. That ain't going nowhere. Very nice. That's pretty, that's, that's pretty damn good. I say so myself. All right, let me share my thoughts with y'all. So obviously we just installed the rigging tube and you can see how I actually did a six inch popping out of there. I did not glue that in. I want to be able to take that out so when I put the deck down, I don't have to cut out a bigger hole in order to finesse it in. And then, then I'll consider after I put the deck in whether or not I want to glue that in. I don't know if that's actually necessary. And then obviously over here, I have not glued that in either. Uh, not necessarily for the same idea just cause I mean, maybe we want to take it out. I think that's fine. I just don't want it to come undone underneath the deck. So as long as I have access to it, like in those two instances, should be good. Next two tasks are to paint the bilge, paint the fish box, and foam in the uh, and foam that in the rigging tube. I also have to hit that with peanut butter up there. So I'll probably do that before I foam it in. And then I'm gonna foam in the entire outer stringer there, the entire outer of the outside stringer here and I should be good. But all in all, I'm pretty happy in how it's uh, coming out. I really am. Because yesterday we installed the tank, today we installed the rigging tubes, and then I'm trying to figure out what to do now. Uh, I don't really want to go home. It's only, it's only 522. <sighs> so I'm barely in. I'm going to have to waste the brush on all these holes, but that's fine. Got to seal them all up. All right. Might as well do this right now. I cut out a lot of me covering all of the raw exposed wood with this polyester resin, but rest assured I did hit every single thing, every single fresh cut. And again with this hole in the stringer, especially this funny looking one, this actually comes back to bite me in the butt. I thoroughly regret it. Just, just cut out squares. <sighs> all right, I'm done for the day. One thing that y'all may not have seen is I did end up cutting those out down there just a little bit more. Therefore, there is a better way for water to get out. Um, I could have done it better, but this is how it had to happen. So there it is. I didn't get as much done today as I wanted to. I kind of wanted to paint the bilge and then maybe pour some foam. Eh, I would have poured the foam before I painted the bilge, but that's what I have to do, I guess, tomorrow. And then I'm gonna actually run the hoses as well. I forgot about that. I gotta run the hoses, cause y'all saw me drill the holes. So I'm gonna run the hose right there. I'm gonna wait for the uh, resin to dry. And then I'm gonna run this feeder, uh, yeah, the feeder hose. It's gonna go right through here. It's gonna come up and there's gonna be like, I guess a hole right here for like trim tab wires and stuff like that. As well as this, just access point to come up and out of the seat, there's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be nice and sealed and look good. It's gonna come out of the seat with all the motor controls from there and the feeder hose into the motor. And then, and then I should be done with that and ready to lay the deck. Which by the way, I picked up the deck, six sheets. I'm not gonna need all six, but uh, I'll need four to five sheets for the deck of four by eight, three quarter inch fur, marine grade plywood. And then I also bought this in order to template. This is just like an $8 piece of uh, insulation board and that'll be able to be my template. It's four by eight and that should work just the same. But that's it for right now, I'll see y'all tomorrow.